I have visited the workshop today because I just want to do a demonstration on boundary lubrication. So I'm going to rub my thumb across this steel workbench surface and you can see there's friction between my skin which is one surface and the steel which is another surface. So to reduce the friction I'm going to use some engine oil which I'll pour on the steel and that will form a boundary between the two surfaces and reduce the friction. Now the reason oil is such a good lubricant is that even when we wipe it off the molecules of oil still cling to the steel. Now you can see that the bench is still shiny. I've got a, a clean cloth and I'm still wiping it off and you can see that that bench is still shiny. The oil is still clinging on. There is a chemical attraction between the molecules of oil and the steel. And as you can see now there is much less friction. So this diagram represents the surface of the steel if we were looking under a microscope. Friction is caused by the irregularities of the two surfaces interlocking with each other. So if we create a boundary between the surfaces, we reduce the friction. And oil is a very good lubricant because it clings on to the surface. This is a video clip that we made in the classroom. And here I'm spinning a piece of metal with a drill in a bucket of oil. And you can see the oil clinging on to that metal. And the faster it goes, the more the oil builds up and clings onto it. So the tendency for oil to cling onto metal makes it a really good lubricant. And we can use that in bearings. It's referred to as hydrodynamic lubrication. Now this diagram shows a shaft running through the center of a bearing. Now the shaft isn't dead centre, you can see that it's sort of dropped to the bottom and that has created a clearance at the top as indicated here. So I'm going to fill that clearance space with oil. So where the shaft has dropped to the bottom, we've actually got metal to metal contact. So the clearance space isn't the same all the way around the shaft, it's what we call asymmetrical. So if we start to spin the shaft, you can see that the oil clings to the side of it and gets dragged around. And at this point here, the pressure is going to build up and up and up. Eventually, we create a wedge of oil or a wedge of lubricant that's going to lift the shaft and almost centralize it in that bearing. This is referred to as hydrodynamic lubrication.